so now we will discuss how to apply for the assessment at the mmd we will show uh, which site to uh, visit and how to apply for that one so we all seafarers are uh, aware of this particular dg website so here we have to go on and click on the e governance link right so this is the link here for the dg shipping who do not already know so this is there you click on the e governance so once you click on the e governance then this kind of a login page will open where you put in your user id and the password so user id is normally your indos number and password whatever you have kept right after that when we click on the central link we see a lot of columns here and especially we see the examination link here so we click on this particular examination link this is the link where we apply for all our meo class 1 class 2 class 4 all all those things so this is a common procedure so we click on this examination link once we have done that one then first thing as we said we have to do the eligibility assessment right so we have to make sure we have to uh, apply uh, put up an application for the assessment eligibility so they will uh, we click on this one and then we need to fill up all the details they will keep on asking certain details so once we have done that then after that we need to uh, of course first uh, once we have done the application we need to upload the documents so they uh, they will uh, give a link and we upload all the documents after that once that thing is done we can pay the assessment fee once we have paid the assessment fee then we will get a uh, so here uh, we can do the assessment fee once we have done the assessment fee and our assessment file is already approved after that we can pay for the seat booking as well right so this is there yeah now once we have paid the fees and also normally we have to wait for 7 to 15 days it can take more time also but depending upon the mmd workload it could be earlier also so we will keep checking the status uh, on our profile itself application status it will show approved once it has shown approved then only we can apply for the any exam meo class 1 or class 2 or class 4 right so once that is done then we can just simply pay the fees and apply again now we will check what all things we are supposed to do uh, like what all things we need to do as a uh, preparation before applying for the assessment so there is an assessment checklist so what does it cover so it covers that we should have cdc all relevant c service pages right so we need to keep the scan copy of all the relevant c service like where we are uh, claiming as qss that means qualifying c service that means after class 2 coc so whatever c service we have after that one we need to make a scan copy of all the relevant pages in a chronological order and we keep it ready then passport all stamped pages normally this one is not required they don't they just ask the front and the back page but uh, as per the checklist they want like that one then indos we already have this certificate so we need to scan copy of this one we need to have that one then educational qualification Although we have presented this during class 4 and class 2 also, but again they ask during class 1 also. So your B.Tech degree, your 12th, 10th, all those. So a uh, scan copy of that one. Then pre-C training course, right? Like we have done from, uh, if I have done from MERI Kolkata, then from there. If I have done from Tolani, then from there. Whatever we have, the 4-year engineering degree course. So that one is required in the scan copy. Another... <coughs> again valid medical certificate so it is in the checklist so we need to have uh, although this any uh, medical that we get when we are joining ship that is valid for two years so we can use that one here no need to go for another unless it has already expired then all the basic and the advanced uh, stcw courses so all those certificates should be there STS DSD as I already told should be there then you pay the fee for the return and as well as when you book the oral so for the return it is 12,500 which is uh, quite a lot of amount so once we have uh, once you are applying so either you can apply and return and oral together so then you have to pay 25,000 if you are applying separately then 12,500 each right so once you have done that one apart from that you need to have the preparatory course the two months right so we already know this so we need to have the preparatory course and as we said all the advanced certificates should be 
valid otherwise before see they issue the coc you will have to do so it's better that you finish all these clerical jobs beforehand only so that you do not get any deficiency right certificate needs to be valid and then your uh, diesel engine combustion gas simulator course right so this is the only course that uh, we are supposed to do now apart from this one we need to have original c service letter from the company again uh, the uh, whatever c service you have done the company will issue you so it doesn't matter if you have sailed in more than one company you can get more than one c service letter from different one and just arrange them in the chronological order right so that is the one issued by the owner of the vessel or the rpsl agent right and then you pay the fee and take a print out of the fee payment uh, proof basically right so that's how uh, we will be applying for the meo class 1 written or oral examination uh, we have a course uh, uh, for meo class 1 aspirants uh, which where we have covered all the topics that are uh, for interest uh, for the examination purpose of meo class 1 we have covered all the topics in detail and uh, from the perspective of a student that how a student perceive a subject so we have tried to explain all the topics uh, in a very minute detail and uh, it is um, uh, correct to the uh, last decimal point we have tried to uh, ensure that one by uh, double proofing reading of that one so you guys are requested that you can uh, purchase this course from our platform it is uh, readily available and it is not very expensive pocket friendly and it will be helpful for you in your meo class 1 journey thank you so much for your support